doesn't love ice cream? And there's a day just to celebrate. Take a look at this ice cream hanger made from felt. Right here. I think it's good enough to eat. Let's take a look at what we need to make this. You'll need some permanent tape, felt in tan, pink, or your favorite ice cream flavor, white, and to create the sprinkles and cherry on top, you'll need red and this confetti of colors, no pun intended. Pins, a needle, some thread, paper clips, a foam ball, two and a half inch, some white school glue, some cardstock, and all the patterns for the ice cream cone are found on our website. So to get started, you're gonna just take your pattern, cut it out, and trace it onto your cardstock. You're not gonna see this part, so it doesn't matter if it's white cardstock or blue cardstock. We just need something stiff underneath the felt so the cone is nice and sturdy. And if you look at our pattern here, you'll see that we've got a little overlap flap. And you're just gonna roll this around itself. And then I'm close, so let's put a little bit of tape on it. Now you can um, tape it over, or we've got this handy double stick tape, and we're gonna put it right along the overlap flap. Just line it up like so. Peel off your top part. And place it just like that. Now the next step is to cut your felt cone piece from the pattern and put some glue on the cone, just like so. You want a generous amount because you don't want your felt piece coming undone. And then you're just gonna roll this felt piece around your paper cone, like so. And if you have a little bit overlapping, just put that like that. It almost looks like a yummy waffle cone, doesn't it? That's my favorite kind of cone. Now for the ends, to make them fold over nice and easy, I need to take some of this off. I would leave about an inch. And you're gonna make some snips in the felt. And what this does is makes it easy for the felt to roll over and not get all crumply down in the cone and bulky. So you'll put some glue down inside the cone, like so, and then just fold these over, like so. Ooh, they wanna fly back up. But I've got these paper clips right here to hold this until it dries. And look at this one, it's all finished. You can see my flaps are nice and secure and my cone's ready for some ice cream. Now, to make your ice cream, we've got this pattern on the website as well. You're just gonna fold your piece of felt in half. This is the, put your, it says right on our pattern, place this side next to the foam, fold, excuse me. Pin your pattern piece to your felt and then cut this out. And when we're finished cutting, it's going to give us a big circle that looks something like the one I have ready right here. Now, have you ever sewn before? This is a really easy stitch. You'll just need to thread about a foot of um, thread into your needle, tie a knot at the end, maybe more like a yard into your needle, and start sewing. Just put the needle down through the felt and then pull it and then back up from the bottom towards you. Be careful here because needles are sharp. And then back down, this is actually called a basting stitch. I like to call it an over under stitch because you're going over and under the felt. Now, when you get it all secure, you're gonna actually, let's pull this a little bit so you can see. It actually draws all your felt together like so. And before, you pull it completely snug, you're gonna cinch it up and then add a little bit of glue and cut your thread. And it's gonna look like this. Now, the next step is to make some embellishments. So we've got the pattern online for a felt ripple that'll go around the base. You can cut your pieces of felt like this for some confetti sprinkles. Look, I have some here and some pink polka dots. And if you remember from our little Japanese doll, 
uh, for the bun, you just roll up some felt like this to create a cherry top. So to get the ice cream into the cone, just add a little bit of glue around the top and set this in. Then you're gonna add your felt ripple piece. And this just kind of hides where the ice cream meets the cone, really cute like that. And this is gonna go on around like so. And you may need some pins to hold it in place if you, if you want. Trim the end. And then you can add some sprinkles, put some polka dots where all of your sprinkles should go of glue. And then once you cover it entirely with sprinkles, you're gonna, let's take a look at this finished one. You're gonna take your little felt cherry, add a little bit of glue to the end, and then tuck a piece of string underneath and you've got the sweetest ornament ever.